So salads don't always have to be side dishes. Salads can be a whole meal, and you can have a whole meal in one bowl. In this case, we're gonna base the salad on chicken. What I've done with this is I've just put a little olive oil in a pan, and I seared the chicken. I didn't cut it up, I didn't slice it, I just diced it when it was finished. So it should be nice and moist. I'm gonna put that into a bowl of arugula. And you know, you have to just eye this for yourself to see what you really like, how much. I kind of think, all right, that's enough chicken I'm gonna put into it for now. I've got some crumbled Maytag blue cheese. And you can use any blue cheese. You can also use feta if you like, but I happen to like the combination of the chicken with the cheese. Now we're gonna throw in some surprise ingredients. Grapes. You can put fruit and meat together. Why not? You would eat it with cheese. It's delicious. In fact, we're gonna add some blueberries as well. And these are all flavors that blend together very well. I also have a little surprise here, which everybody loves. Everyone loves bacon. You know what you do when you make bacon? Make a whole, the whole package, okay? You eat your bacon with your eggs, and then save the rest to crumble on things, whether it be a sandwich or anything else. And then we have some beautiful almonds, which we toasted. Nice flavors come up. Now I think the best dressing to make with this is a balsamic vinaigrette. So I have this beautiful fig balsamic vinegar, which is very, very sweet and rich, so you really only need a tiny bit of it. And then the olive oil, extra virgin olive oil all the time. No excuses. There's no reason to use anything else. And then we're going to use some wet Dijon mustard. You can use dry mustard or wet mustard. In this case, I'm going to use some wet mustard. You're going to ask me how much to use, and I'm going to tell you that normally your oil should be about three parts to your vinegar. For a rich balsamic, you might use a little less. If you're making a whole um, jar of it, then you'll use a large tablespoon. But I just used about a half a teaspoon of this. And what the mustard does, not only makes a nice tanginess in the dressing, but it also serves as a binder to help put everything together. And now we're gonna dress the salad. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. And you know what you could tell also is, if you match the color of your vinegar to your food, in this case, we have blue and green, so we want a darker color. And then you just toss. With these one, one meal in a bowl salads, you can really use anything. You can, it's a perfect way to use leftovers. If you have yet leftover chicken cutlets, or some leftover salmon, or even a can of tuna, and add anything you want to it, any fruits and vegetables. Remember, varying the colors and varying the textures will vary the nutrients. This is a lot of fun to eat. This is my blue bacon chicken, so this blueberry blue cheese chicken and bacon with arugula salad, balsamic vinegar dressing. We have Israeli salad with olive oil and lemon dressing and feta cheese, and an orange salad with sunflower seeds with orange vinaigrette dressing.